Welcome to this week's Regals Rundown. I'm Josh Bramer. Today we have another special episode. We have assistant coach of the men's basketball team, Coach David Jackson, and downtown Malone, Ashley Martell <laughs> of the women's basketball team. We'll start with Coach Jackson from the men's basketball team. Coach, how you doing? Doing pretty good. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you surviving the weather up here? Oh, I love it, you know. I love that below zero weather. Oh, I love it. Great. Love that wind chill, right? Oh, God, I love it. So that. you're in your fourth year here at UMC. Um, We'll talk about the changes and like the progress uh, the men's basketball team has uh, overcome in the past few years that you've been here. Um, I believe one of the changes that we've made has been able to get better players in. Um, we're starting to get more money in yeah. recruiting, uh, but we're starting to get better players, D1 transfers, yeah. um, and just starting to be able to get out to the cities yeah. and get to get get kids to come here from right out of high school. Yeah, like, spreading that around, people. trying to. Yeah. Make it out the bigger region. Yeah, better, better players. Yeah. Um, I, I think we're getting that. I think we're, we're building that um, bond with high school coaches yeah. and they'll start sending players here. So I think that's one of the changes that we've made. Yeah, talking about recruiting, recruiting is probably one of the biggest jobs you have, correct? Recruiting is my is my it's, it's uh, your specialty. It's supposed to be my specialty. So it's my strong point. Talk about like a normal recruit. I know you don't want to go too deep in, but like, how do you usually like usually like know if a player is good? You want them or like getting them to come, committing stuff like that. Um, what we do here um, at Crookston is the first thing, first process is we go out and watch players. We spend yep. a lot of time in the summertime watching players and rewrite evaluations. Um, and once that evaluation is done for my part. Mm -hmm. I generally send another assistant, uh, Coach Harmon. In this case, he'll go out and watch a player, and then he'll he'll give me his feedback. And once we've decided, hey, this is the player that we'd like, uh, we generally call Coach Osef in and say, hey, Coach, this is the kid that we we think we'd like. Coach Osef then evaluates the kid and says, yeah, we want we want to buy for this kid real hard. Right. Um, once that happens, then the phone calls start. Um, and we start to get to uh, know the kid a little bit, mm -hmm. trying to get to know the kid off the court. It's really big to know a kid off the court as well as knowing one on the court. Yeah, really building that relationship and stuff like that, yeah. really getting to know the player. Uh, so you guys are coming in on for your last month. Talk about what your goals are for the last uh, remaining games. Well, this season we lost uh, Ashton Harrell, yeah. one of our leading scorer, um, and also one of our leading rebounders. So what we, as a team, what we're trying to do is just complete 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Trying to play defense for 40 minutes and offense, uh, have good offensive production for 40 minutes, uh, and just play good solid team defense yeah. and offense for 40 minutes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, good luck for the rest of the games. Thanks for joining me today. No problem. Thank you. Now, downtown Malone, Ashley Martell, the women's basketball team will be joining me. Ashley, how you doing? Good. Okay. How, are you how are you enjoying the weather up here? Um, I don't like it No, I'm spending all. most of the time in the gym trying to stay warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're known for your uh, shooting three capabilities. Talk about how much time do you spend in the gym just practicing, finding your spot, finding your rhythm? Um, like during the season, most of the time it's just kind of in practice and it's mm -hmm. free time when I do have free time. Yeah. But I spend a lot of t time in the off season, I'd say, yeah. going to the gym. Me and my sister go to the gym every day and just get off a ton of threes and just try to look for a bunch of different shots. That's good, just trying to just keep in shape, keep yeah. the, keep the uh, feelings going. Yeah. Um, so the last few games you guys had some pretty close games, really on the cusp of them. Talk about how you guys as a team are going to come and uh, over jump that hurdle and actually get one of those big ones. I think like kind of what Coach Jackson was talking about is the 40 minutes. Usually we have like 36 mm -hmm. solid minutes and we have a four game patch where we kind of struggle. Yeah. And I think we just really need to come together when we have those struggles and if we can do that, come together as a team, I think we can definitely win these games. We're definitely in every game and mm -hmm. I think that's probably the biggest thing for yeah, us. You guys, you, you see it on the scoreboard every time you guys are right in there and then it's just either that one turnover yeah. or that one missed shot that just and then it just goes off from yeah. there. Yeah, it's usually just like a two or three minute yep. time every game. Yeah. So you're, this is your junior year. Talk about how much time you are putting in to build your game as an individual and improve your game in going into your senior year. Um, I think during the off season, I really want to work on keep getting my shot off faster. Mm -hmm. Because in practice, I know I can get it off fast and I'm comfortable. And coach was kind of talking to me about that yesterday, about in games, like being comfortable to get it off quicker and just being more confident. Good confidence is key. Yeah. Confidence is well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Stay warm and good luck with the rest of your games. Thanks. I'm Josh Bramer this, here with this week's Regal Rundown. Make sure you tune in next time for Regal Rundown.